Good day! My name is Aubrey Tejada and I was assigned to report this topic, International Electronic Business and Collaborations. The learning objectives for this topic is first, how do business process work? What connection do they have to inform system? How do system benefit the various management teams within the company? How do enterprise-wide linking system enhance organizational performance? What technologies are used by system for collaboration and social business and why are they so crucial? And lastly, what function in a firm handles information systems? Information systems and business processes. Business must deal with a wide variety of information in order to function including data about their products and services, customers, workers, invoices, and payments. Processes in business. Business processes is defined as the series of tasks necessary to create a goods or services. Includes the distinctive way in which business coordinate their employees, tasks, access to information, and knowledge. The effectiveness of a company enterprise is largely dependent on how its well business operations are planned and orchestrated. A certain functional area is connected to a lot of business processes. For example, in the manufacturing and production division, the business process will be assembling the product, checking the quality, product bills of materials. For in the sales department, sales and marketing, identifying customers, making customers aware of the product, and selling the product. In the finance and accounting division, paying the creditor, creating financial statements, managing cash accounts, and lastly, for the human resources, hiring employees, evaluating employees' job performance, and enrolling employees in the benefit plans. Other business procedures involve departmental collaboration and cut across several distinct functional domains. A lot of information is needed to efficiently complete each of these steps in order to fulfill processes. For example, in this figure, Yung sales division ang unang makaka-receive ng sales order. And then, it goes to the accounting to check the credit or the request for quick payment before the shipment to make sure the customer can pay for the order. Next is the production division. Either creates the goods or remove it from inventory once the customer credit has been confirmed. Then, the item is shipped. Now, the accounting division produces a bill or invoice and a notification that the product has shipped or is given to the customer. After nang mapadala na yung product, the sales team gets ready to assist the client. Information Technology and Business Process Improvement New technology has the potential to alter the information is shared and accessed, allowing for the simultaneous completion of several activities in place of sequential ones and elimination of decision-making delays. So it's very obvious na once na nag-switch tayo sa automated process, mas mapabibilis ang lahat compared sa manual process. By performing a business process analysis, mas uh, ma-enhance yung operations ng business and magiging productive and efficient lahat ng magiging operations sa company. Now that we are familiar with the business processes, let's take a closer look on how information system assist a firm's business processes. So, sa isang business, iba-iba ang kanilang interest, specialties, and levels within an organization. Walang system na makakapag-provide lahat ng information sa lahat ng pangangailangan ng isang company. A typical business organization has system supporting process for each of the major business function systems for sales and marketing, manufacturing and production, finance and accounting, and human resources. 
functional system that operate independently of each other are becoming a thing of the past because they cannot easily share information to support cross-function business processes. Many have been replaced with large-scale cross-functional systems that integrate the activities of related business processes and organizational units. A typical firm also has different supporting decision-making needs of each of the main management groups. This is the summary of information system types. Under the computer system for various management groups, there are two categories, system for processing transaction, system for business intelligence. Under the system for connecting the entity, it is the business application. Under the business application, there is enterprise resource planning, supply chain management, customer relationship management, knowledge management system, and the intranet and exonet. And lastly, the e-commerce, e-business, and e-government. Computer system for various management groups. Systems are in place in a corporate organization to support various management levels or groups. It is the business analytics and the transaction processing. Systems for processing transaction or the transaction processing system or the TPS monitor basic organizational activities and transaction like sales, revenue, cash, cash deposits, payroll, credit decision, and the movement of commodities in a factory are necessary for operational managers. TPS executes and documents the everyday administrative tasks required to run a firm such as sales, order input, hotel reservation, payroll, personal record, keeping, and shipping. Figure 2.2 shows a TPS for processing payroll. The money paid to employees is tracked by a payroll system. A single transaction for this system is an employee timesheet that includes the name, social security number, and number of hours work each week. As soon as the transaction is entered into the system, it updates the master file which is the organization's ongoing repository for personal data. The system's data are integrated in various ways to provide reports useful to management and governmental organization as well as to pay the employees. To sum up about the System for Processing Transaction or the TPS, it is necessary for the managers to keep track of the state of the internal operations and the company's interaction with the outside world. Transaction processing systems are often so centered to a business that TPS failure for a few hours can lead to a firm's demise and perhaps that of other firms linked to it. Under the Systems for Business Intelligence, Business Intelligence refers to the organization analysis, dissemination of data and software tools that enable managers and other enterprise users to make better decisions. Middle management can benefit from business intelligence solutions that supports monitoring, controlling, decision-making, and administrative tasks. MIS utilize information to provide by transaction processing system to summarize report on the company's fundamental operation. So, kung sa TPS is almost yung operational transaction or the day-to-day -day transaction of the company, here in the System for Business Intelligence, the MIS converts transactional level data from accounting, production, and inventory into MIS files that are then utilized to generate reports for management. MIS utilizes information provided by transaction processing system to summarize and report on the company's fundamental operation. So figure 2.4 is a sample of MIS report. It compares the total annual sales number of particular goods to the anticipated targets. 
This system typically lacks flexibility and analytic strength. Instead of complex mathematical models or statistical methodologies, the, ma the majority of MI M MIS employ straightforward process like summaries and comparison. The decision support system or the DSS concentrate on the situations that are distinct and changing quickly where the process of for finding solution may not be completely set in advance. It also incorporates information from the outside sources. An example of DSS is the Voyage Estimating Decision Support System. It is a major international shipping firm that delivers massive loads of coal, oil, ores, and completed goods. It is an intriguing, compact, but effective DSS. This DSS operates on a powerful PC. It is, it is used daily by managers who must develop bids on shipping contracts. Now let's proceed to the system for connecting the entity. It will answer the question, how firm handles all the information in all these different types of system? Next. What is the cost and how much is the cost of maintaining of many various systems? And also, it answers the questions, how managers and staff are able to coordinate their work across all the many platforms? Business Applications Enterprise application, which are systems that span Functional areas focus on executing business processes across the business firm and include all levels of management. The architecture of this enterprise application encompasses process spanning the entire organization and in some cases extending beyond the organizations to customers, supplier, and other key business partners. The Enterprise Resource Planning or the ERP system, it is defined as the business activities in manufacturing and production, finance and accounting, sales and marketing, and human resource are all integrated into a single software system by companies using Enterprise System. Next is the Supply Chain Management or the SCM. It is used to manage interaction between suppliers and also to efficiently source, produce, and transport goods and services. Next is the customer relationship management. It is used by business to manage their interaction with their clients. Data assists business in finding, learning, and keeping the most lucrative client and improve client relations and boosting revenue. And the last for the business application, the knowledge management system or the KMS, organizations can better manage procedures for gathering and using knowledge and expertise. This system gathers all pertinent knowledge and experience within the company and make it accessible whenever and wherever it required. Intranet and Extranet Under Intranet, Intranet are corporate websites that are only available to stop. So you can email here or chat with the um, other department. Pwede rin kayong, um, instead of pupunta ka sa office, um, you can communicate through internet. Extranet are corporate website that are only available to approve vendors and suppliers used to organize the supply, supply chain for a company's manufacturing facilities. So, through Extranet, makikipag-communicate ka sa mga vendors, suppliers, and also, this will serve as a history and also basis for reordering. Lastly, on the type of information system, the e-commerce, e-business, and e-government. E-business is also known as digital business. Describe how the internet and digital technologies are used to carry out the main business procedure of an organization. E-commerce refers to the area 
of e-business that deals with the online purchase and sale of goods and services. So, hindi naman bago sa atin itong word na to ang e-business and e-commerce kasi uh, madalas natin ginagamit like uh, Shopee, Lazada, Zalora, eBay, and um, other um, shopping website. When it comes to the e-government, it is the use of internet and networking technology to digitally enable interactions between government and public service sectors organization and the general public private sector, and other branches of government. For example, this is the website of the Katanduanes Police Provincial Office. Um, dito, um, this part of Isumbong is um, connected to the national and um, this part of the NPS where you can access the um, national police clearance and also on the part of the LTO, here is the LTMS portal where you can um, renew your license. Now, let's proceed to the next topic, collaboration and social business system. Collaboration is defined. It is the process of working together to achieve specific and stated aim. Team is defined to successfully complete a specific duties and execute the team mission as a whole. Team members must work together. For several reasons, collaboration and teamwork are more crucial than ever now. For several reasons, collaboration and teamwork are more crucial than ever now. First, a shifting definition of work. Jobs today demand significantly closer collaboration and contact between the parties engaged in providing the service or manufacturing the good. Next, the expansion of professional work. Working in a professional setting necessitates a high level of knowledge as well as the exchange of idea and information. Next, the organization of the company changing. Managers arrange work in a hierarchical manner during a large portion of the industrial period. Next, a shift in the firm's focus. The company's operation have expanded from a single location to several, including offices or factories, dispersed across a region, a country, or perhaps the entire world. Next, innovation is emphasized. Although we frequently credit outstanding individuals with their advances in business and science, these great individuals almost certainly collaborate with a group or equal clever co-workers. And lastly, a shift in the workplace and corporate culture. The majority of studies and collaboration supports the ideas that diverse teams create better results more quickly than individual working alone. Social business. What is it? To speed up and improve information sharing, creativity, and decision making, social business aims to deepen relationships with groups both inside and outside the company. Important social business applications both inside and outside the company are included in Table 2.2. The enterprise social business and and its internal corporate usage are the main topic of this chapter. Social business application pertaining to clients and vendors outside the organization. In terms in the productivity, business benefits of collaborations, people working together can complete a complex task. When it comes to quality, people working collaboratively can communicate errors and correct action faster. When it comes to innovation, people working collaboratively in a group can, can come up with the more innovative ideas for products and also for the customer service. Um, work, people working together in a team can solve customer complaints and issues faster. And when it comes to financial performance, as a result of all of the above, collaborative, collaborative firm have superior sales growth and financial performance. 
Successful collaboration requires an appropriate organizational structure and culture along with the appropriate collaboration technology. Lower-level staff in command and control organization were expected to follow instruction without inquiry, without being held accountable for streamlining procedures, and without receiving any recognition for their efforts. The bosses were in charge of determining whether your work group required assistance from another work group. Also note that you only ever communicated vertically not horizontally, so management could direct the workflow. Creation tools and technologies and social business. Currently, there are hundreds of tools designed to deal with the fact in order to succeed in our jobs. We are all dependent on one another, our fellow employees, customers, suppliers, and managers. Also, we are dependent on the system, application, and tools used in social business. There are some na high-end ang product and also there are free products. Number one on the list is the email and messaging apps. For interaction jobs, email and instant messaging, especially text messaging, have been important communication and cooperation tools. We usually use the Gmail and the Yahoo. Next is the wikis. It is the specific kind of website that allows user to easily add and change text context, visual without needing any programming or web design expertise. For example, Wikipedia is the world's biggest collaboratively maintained reference project. It is the most well-known wiki. It is entirely volunteer-run, has no revenue, and doesn't take any advertising. Next is the virtual worlds. Virtual location, real world individual represented by avatars communication with one another express ideas using gesture, chat box, and voice communication. So there are platforms for collaboration and social business. There are currently software products that offer multifunctional platform for social business and cooperation among teams of employees that operate together from various locations. These are just an example of video conferencing app system for virtual meeting. Many businesses, both big and small, are implementing implementing video conferencing and web conferencing technology in an effort to cut travel cost. Also, um, these video conferencing apps are helpful um, in, in time of pandemic, especially today, um, we are using it also. Cyber Lockers. It is an online file sharing tools that let Users submit data to safe cloud storage facilities where they can be distributed to others. Dropbox and Microsoft SkyDrive are two other cyber locker service used for collaboration. Both provide free and premium services with options to make the files private and public and share them with other types of devices. When it comes to cyber lockers, we are more familiar with the G Drive. Google Drive is an example of cloud-based cyber locker. This service works on multiple operation systems, browsers, and mobile devices. Users can create and edit some types of documents online, synchronize them, synchronize these files with all of their devices, and share them with other people. When it comes to the evaluation and selection of social and collaboration software tools, checklist for managers, the cooperation problem has two dimensions, time and space, which are the focus of the time and space matrix. Collaboration technologies can be classified in terms whether they support interaction at the same time or different time or place, and whether these interactions are remote or co-located. There are six stages and it serves as a guide on how you should 
Purchase the ideal collaboration software for your company at a cost that fits your budget and your risk tolerance. First stage, what are the collaboration challenges facing the firm in terms of time and space? Locate your firm in the time-space matrix. Your firm can occupy more than one cell in the matrix. Different collaboration tools will be needed for each situation. Second stage, within each cell of the matrix, where your firm faces challenges, exactly what kinds of solutions are available? Make a list of vendor products. On the third stage, analyze each of the products in terms of their cost and benefits to your firm. Be sure to include the cost of training in your cost estimate and cost of involving the information system department if needed. On the fourth stage, we're talking about the risk. Identify the risk to security and vulnerability involved with each of the products. Is your firm willing to risk its important operations to systems controlled by other firms? When um, building a system, um, we hire outsiders so they have the access with, um, within the, with the operations of our business. And also, what they be here in three to five years? What would be the cost of making a switch to another vendor in the event of vendor firm fails? The fifth stage is to seek the help of potential user to identify implementation and training issues. Some of these tools are easier to use than others. Of course, there should be a comparison between other products. And for the last, the sixth stage, make your selection of candidate tools and invite the vendors to make presentation. When acquiring a system, dapat pag-isipan ng maayos kung ano ba ang mabibenefit nito sa company, especially it costs a lot of money. It is expensive and it also time-consuming mag-build ng system. With all the effort, dapat maging worth it lahat para maging beneficial din sa company. So how does the business information system work? Information system department is the formal organization unit responsible for information technology services. The information system department is responsible for maintaining the hardware, software, data storage, and network that comp comprise the firm's IT infrastructure. The Department of Information System consists of the following. First is the programmers. They are highly trained technical specialists who write the software instruction for computers. Next is the system analyst. Constitute the principal liaison between the information system groups and the rest of the organization. It is the system analyst's job to translate business problems and requirements into information requirements and systems. Information system managers are the leaders of team of programmers and analysts, project managers, physical facility managers, telecommunication managers, or database specialists. The other member of the Department of Information System are the CIO or the Chief Information Officer. It is the senior management who oversee the use of information technology in the firm. Next is the CSO or the Chief Security Officer is in charge of information security for the firm and is responsible for enforcing the firm's information security policy. Next is the CPO or the Chief privacy officer. He is responsible for ensuring that the company complies with the existing data privacy laws. Next is the CKO or the chief knowledge officer. He helps design programs and system to find new sources of knowledge or to make better use of existing knowledge in organizational and management process. And lastly, the end user are also member of the Department of Information System. They are the representative of the department outside the information system groups for whom applications are developed. 
In setting up the information system to work, the alternative ways to organize the information system function within the business. The question of how the information system department should be organized is part of the larger issue of IT governance. IT governance includes the strategy and the policies of using information technology within the organization. It specifies the decision rights and framework for accountability to ensure the use of information technology supports the organization's strategies and objectives. To sum up my report, it is important to always think the benefits that the company will get in acquiring these kinds of system and application. Its goal is to protect the company's resources and boost its revenue. It must be useful when it comes to decision making. Hire the right people to make the system. Also, acquire the right tools and application for the benefit of the business. Regardless the price of the information system, the main objective of it is to carry out business operations smoothly. That's the end of my report. Thank you for listening. I'm Aubrey Tejada. Have a great day.